Yes, YouTube, I'm back. 2019, new settings, new vibes. I hope your 2018 was delightful, a blessed year of earning, and now it's time for 2019 to be another year of earning. Okay, we're back, and I'm not even gonna talk too much, but I'll show you as we go along. Let's go. Come round like fellow was satin. Oh man, can't tell me about back off. She back it up but then I back in. So today I'm gonna kick you guys off with just a little technique, a little lesson, a little informative video on how to obviously do a deadlift, uh, the way I work around my deadlifts in terms of sets and reps, and then basically for me to give you information so you can take that and then get your deadlifts better. Uh, a lot of people have been asking me as well on how to get the best out of your deadlifts and how to increase their weight in a short amount of time as well, so that's what I'm going to show you. And boy, let me just show you this gym first of all, because if you guys remember, my last other few videos was in the old pumps gym, but now they've regenerated the whole gym and now it's just looking, it's looking mad. It's just, they've got every machine I want, like literally. But I'm going to start off with the deadlift. Most gyms that I train at, they usually just have a standard 20 kg plate. But this gym obviously has blessed us with 25 kg plates. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this on the bar and I'm basically gonna start with 70 kg. Usually my starting set would be 20 on each side for it to equal up to 60 kg because I also include the bar, which is also 20 kg as well. So because I've got 25, I'm gonna start with 70 kg. Uh, for me, personally, my first set is not really a working set. It's more of a thing where I'm trying to get used to the movement so then I can start working. In terms of warming up sets, for me personally, it's roughly two to three sets for me. After that, once I know I've got a weight that I know I'm, I can start working with and I can feel the muscles moving that I'm targeting, then I know I'm working from there. The number one rule, apart from obviously putting your weight back as soon as you use it, is you need to have flips. No matter what weight it is, no matter what exercise or set, if there's an exercise that involves you using eclipse for the bar, you have to put it on. The reason why I say it is because I've experienced, and probably many other bodybuilders, or even yourself, has experienced an imbalance of weights moving side to side while lifting. That can one, cause the injury, two, it can just mess up your set straight like that, and it can obviously make you not want to lift it again after that set. So, clips, no matter what it looks like, make sure you have clips on each side, yeah? Cool. Many sets. Um, like I said, it's not a working set, it's just a set to get me used to the movement that I'm going to be using for my up and coming sets. And me personally, I just wanted to tell you what I've done just to prepare myself. So, first of all, you want to make sure you come behind the bar. Yeah, second of all, you want to either make sure that your legs are just outside the shoulder width or just within shoulder width. There's two types of deadlifts that I'll speak about later on in the video, but for me, I do a conventional deadlift, yeah? Which is a standard deadlift that pretty much the majority of people that deadlift do anyway, okay? So one, you want to get my, your feet just within shoulder width, okay? You want to get your hand here and your hand here. One thing you want to make sure is that if, if your hand is in one place on that side of the bar, your hand needs to be in the same up, same place on that side of the bar. It doesn't need to be one here and then one here. They need to be balanced. Okay? Cool. Usually people, depending on what weight, they would usually lift the bar with both their hands in the same direction. If it gets a bit lighter or a bit heavier, then they tend to grab one hand under and one hand over. Reason being, Depending on the strength of your arm, so for me example, I'm left-handed, I'm always going to be able to want to pull with my strongest hand and then kind of support with my right hand. Some people are easier and they're able to just pick up the weight with just one hand there and one hand there. But like I said, it depends on the weight, okay? Cool. Now once you know you've got that stance and that position, you want to basically get yourself sitting in a squat position as you was about to go low, okay? The idea of for a deadlift, me personally, is for you to not use your lower back in the, from the start to the end. There needs to be a bit of balance. When you do squats, as you go low, you push from your hamstrings and from your heels. Likewise with deadlifts. You have to push with your hamstrings and push with your heels, as well as pull with your arms as well. So for me personally, I'm gonna start like this. Yeah, so I'm gonna have my heels flat on the floor. Yeah, with my hips pushing that way. 
I'm gonna have my chest out with my bum up. As I've done that, as my hands are firmly gripped on the bar, all I'm gonna do is pull. Like that. Okay? Now, when I finish, this is where I wanna stop. So if you come to the side, you can see that I'm straight like a ruler. Yeah? So if we run it through slowly, I'm going backwards. See how my back stays straight? Now I come back up and I stop here. Yeah, there's no need for you to come all the way back. That's how your lower back goes. You come up, stop there. You've got to imagine that there's a brick wall right behind you so you don't go too far back. If there's one wallpaper, if there's one screensaver that you need to have in this in this day in life, is this. You need to remind yourself every day and you need to be remembering that you are grateful to be able to earn the muscle, literally. Remember guys, it's not given, it's earned. So now my hands are gonna change because now I'm starting to feel it as I feel like I'm working. Man can't tell me about mad ones. Is he in cam done? Uh, where's who smash and grab ones? Uh, drug deals, rambos, handguns. Man can't tell me about loosing. From time I caught them man lacking. Uh, man can't tell me about action. Come run like fellow was satinin'. Uh, man can't tell me about back off. Should back it up but then I'm back in. I'm uh, about by two. So that's like about 20. That's actually 190. It's 190. It's 190 kg. I haven't deadlift in a while. But like it was only just came to my thought that I need to educate some of the people that don't know. So this 190 set might not even it might not even be alright. So I'm gonna try it out, boy. But you gotta do it for the people, you get me? You gotta keep earning when you get the chance, man. set yeah you can probably see from the side how straight my back was yeah that's because I really really pushed with my hamstrings and my heels now I've done it before many people have probably done it before when obviously your hamstrings and your heels are not as strong you would tend to use your back a lot so your back your back will probably tend to round or you'll, you'll rely on your lower back a lot but if I'm honest, like when you deadlift, you're really meant to feel it in your hamstrings and your and your um, and your heels, and then your lower back should really take maybe a quarter, maybe two thirds of the lift. But that is literally after you've come from here to here, and that's where your lower back should be working because that's where you get the squeeze. That's why you have some things like rack pulls, where rack pulls would literally be done from like this level, not so much all on the floor as a deadlift. When you do rack pulls, it's obviously working the lower back. So deadlift, for example, from the floor should be contracting your hamstrings and pulling from your, your calves and your heels. You know what I'm saying? And as you get to the top, or just before you get to the top, that's where your lower back will be able to squeeze as you've got that amount, that amount of weight on you like that and then you come here like that. Do you know what I'm saying now, yeah? So that's why like, you could see 190 was a bit, you know, it was a working set. But you can see how straight my back was until I got to the top where I came out just to expect, extend it to get my lower back working. But before that, I used my hamstrings and my heels as much as I can to push up to the, to the top as, as well as I've done. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. Nothing. Nothing. Yeah, really about that life. Oh, nigga, you bluffing. I can see it in your eyes. You ain't not nothing. Give my little nigga, nigga, life. I bill should have seen his face when I boss him. Huh? Other one run off with life. I bill should have seen his face when I bought him. Huh? Then again, when I boss him. Oh, man, can't tell me about nothing. Must be smoking or something. Listen, it may come up, it may not come up. If it doesn't come up, you try again. Until you're obviously completely dead. I don't know how many tries I'm going to give it, but I'm always going to try to earn something. You get me? Like, who told him he can do that? Uh, 35 for that new app, yeah.
Alright, cool. So I'm not actually dead. Or um, my lower back is alright. But as you can see, that 230, I failed it. Okay, I tried it again. But I thought, let me not waste you guys' eyes and waste you guys' vision of me I'm trying and trying and trying. But yeah, I failed it. And listen, in life, that's what happens. You fail things. Yeah? But it's about how determined you are to make a comeback. And I will continue to work on it. I've lifted 230 before. But you know, some you have your days, isn't it? Some days you lift it, some days you get two reps, some days you get no reps. But listen, just make sure you carry on in it. You just keep earning in it, yeah? Obviously, that video, making me making my comeback, was again just to show you guys how to perform a deadlift from the start to the end and how to make it easier for every single weight that you do and every single set that you do, yeah? So for example, what I said was, for example, you need to obviously train your hamstrings even more. So maybe have a separate day in your week out of, I don't know how many days you train, maybe four, maybe five. Have a separate day where you train just hamstrings and calves. Because then from there, you'll make your deadlifts and your compounds so much easier. So your squats and your deadlifts will be able to go from here to wherever in no time, you know? So yeah, for me, now I'm hoping that that video was able to help you in a way to get your deadlifts to a better, um, in terms of a better technique. And then yeah, from there you can just keep going from there. Obviously I hope you liked the video. Like, I didn't want to be like every other gym bodybuilder or gym influencer that just does straight sets. You gotta make it funny sometimes and you gotta let them know that it is all right to fail. It's all right to do these things. It's all right to not complete a set. It's all right to, you know, it's all right to be normal, man. Yeah, everyone is the same, you know? So yeah, I'm gonna keep coming with these videos. You know, I know it's been a while. I, obviously, you guys know why, you know? But at the same time, like, day-to-day -day, um, jobs as well, like, it's, it's, it's not been easy. This year has not been easy. But, you know, the story coming out of this will be so much beneficial because I'm hoping it will guide you guys to do something good in your life and it'll make you realize that, you know, you can do it. Whatever you set out to do, you can do it. Yeah, don't ever think just because I have this task and that task that I can't do it. You can do it. Trust me, yeah? For me, this year and the years to go, keep earning, keep believing, and keep dreaming, and I promise you, you will succeed. See you later.